today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Comfy UI from scratch and get you set up with everything you need to use the reimagine workflow from my previous videos, including the checkpoint, cuss of the AE, control net, and custom nodes with Comfy UI Manager. This is going to be primarily for Windows users, but let me know in the comments below if you want a tutorial for Mac or Linux. And let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is head to the Comfy UI GitHub repo and download Comfy UI. So we'll go ahead, we'll scroll down, click install Comfy UI. That'll take us down to the installing section, and you're going to go ahead and click the direct link to download. This is going to require 7-zip to extract. So if you don't have that installed yet, you'll go ahead and download that here. All necessary links will be included in the description below. So go ahead and check that out for everything you need. We're going to get that installed now. So what you want to do is you want to pull up our downloads folder. And I've already downloaded everything we need for the day. But the first thing that we're going to do is install 7-zip if we don't have that installed. So we'll just go ahead and double click this. Say yes. Go ahead and install it where you want it installed. And close. It was that. Okay. Now we have 7-zip installed. We're going to go ahead and find our new Comfy UI Windows Portable file here. We're going to right click that. And then you should see 7-zip icon and open here. But if you don't, you can click open with and go through 7-zip file manager. And got our 7-zip window here. What we want to do is click on the Comfy UI Windows Portable and then click Extract. And that's going to put it in your downloads folder. Great. We'll click OK and let it extract. OK. Now that that's extracted, we'll go ahead and exit 7-zip. And we'll find our Comfy UI Windows Portable folder. Uh, Ooh, got a very important message here. Let's go ahead and read that. So, important things to note here are, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can go ahead and use the run NVIDIA GPU that, that. And if you do not have an NVIDIA GPU, you can use the run CPU dot bat. Uh, however, this will be much, much slower. So just keep that in mind. And looks like we're going to need a checkpoint. So let's go ahead and do that before we get started. And you can also see instructions for how to update in here as well. So let's get that checkpoint. We're going to head to this repo on Hugging Face. We're going to go to Files and Versions. And we're going to install the version 1-5 pruned EMA only dot safe tensors. Whenever you can, you want to use the safe tensors version of a model rather than the CKPT of the checkpoint version. Uh, safe tensors is just, well, it's safer. It's harder to hide uh, malicious code inside of a safe tensors file. So you go ahead and install that. And the next thing that we're going to need is our custom VIE. So we'll head here. Once again, we're going to go to the files and versions, and we will download the safe tensors file. Put the download button, and great. Now we've got what we need. While we're at it, we're also going to head here and download these control net models. We don't need these until later in the video, but while we're downloading models, might as well do it now. For the purposes of the reimagined workflow, you only need this SD15 depth and SD15 line art, but you might as well download all of these. Okay, now that we've downloaded those models, what we want to do is put them in the right place. So what we're going to do here is open up our CompUI Windows Portable folder in another window, and that will just make things a little easier for us. And you can see in the download folder, I've put all of the necessary models into a models folder. So we'll go ahead and go in there. And now we're going to move things over uh, as we need. So we'll head into the Comfy UI Windows Portable folder. We'll double click on Comfy UI. We'll look for the Models folder. And first we'll do checkpoints. So we're going to move our version 1.5 pruned checkpoint into here. So we'll go ahead and move it over. Excellent. 
Next thing we want to do is get that VAE. So we'll head there and we'll find our VAE and we'll drag it over. Excellent. And now we'll just do the control net models as well. So we're just going to go ahead and grab the rest of these models in here and drag them over. Okay. And now we've got everything that we need. So we can go ahead and exit this models window. And we're going to want to click back up to the CompUI Windows Portable folder. And we are now ready to run CompUI. So run the version that makes sense for your computer. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, you're going to want to click this run NVIDIA GPU. If not, you click run CPU, but just anticipate that things will take a while to generate. So I have an NVIDIA GPU. I'm going to double click this. I'm going to open up a terminal window and we'll just let it do its thing. Okay, and it's loaded up, and you can see it's opened here the default workflow, uh, and it's already selected ArcRex checkpoint here. So we're just going to go ahead and see how this works. Let it run once, and see it's loading the checkpoint. It's then gonna put that through our next encoders and generator image, and here we go. So we've got CompUI installed, and we can generate images, great. Now, where do we want to go from here? Well, if we want to get to the point where we can use the custom workflow uh, from my previous videos, we have a couple more steps to take. And the first thing that we're going to do is install the Comfy UI Manager, which will make it easier to get some of the custom nodes that are going to be required for that workflow. So we'll head here to the Comfy UI Manager repo and what we're going to want to do is we need to clone this in to the custom nodes folder of our Comfy UI installation. So if you don't have Git, I'll show you how to get started with that now. So we're going to head here to Git, and we're going to go ahead and click on the click here to download, and that will get us the latest version for a 64-bit version of Windows. So we'll go ahead and now install Git. So we're going to head back to our downloads folder. And we're going to install Git. So we'll, we'll click on Git, say yes. Oh, I already had Git, but I needed to update. So it's taking care of that now. Okay, great. Right. Now, if you haven't installed Git yet, uh, you will be asked for some setup options. You're going to want to make sure that Git is set up on the path. It should be the default option. Uh, by this important because you want me to be able to call the git command later. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and say finish. And uh, once open read me here, so we'll let it open with Firefox. And that, right there we go. Awesome. Okay. So now that we have git installed, we can go ahead and git our Comfy UI manager. So we're going to want to head back into the CompUI Windows Portable folder. We're going to click on Comfy UI. We're going to click on Custom Nodes, and now we are in the right spot. So what we need to do is head back to the Comfy UI Manager repo. Here where it says Code, we'll click that. Here's the URL we're going to need, so we're going to click Copy URL to Clipboard. We're going to click back to our folder and right-click and click open in terminal. Or if you don't see that command, you can go up here and just type CMD. And that will go ahead and open the command prompt. And then you're gonna wanna click git clone. And then you can right click to paste the URL that you grabbed earlier. And you will then click enter. And there we go. It's cloned into the Comfy UI, custom nodes folder. And that's great. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to restart Comfy UI. So if you already had it open, as it might be in a terminal window here, you'll go ahead and exit that. We'll go back to our Comfy UI Windows portable folder, and we'll click the appropriate run.bat file for our system. And now Comfy UI Manager is going to set itself up here and install its necessary dependencies. And this can take a moment. So now that we have the CompUI Manager installed, explore it real quickly. So you can see here, uh, you can install custom nodes. It will show you 
all of these nodes that you might want to install. And you can go ahead and browse those and see if you find anything of interest. Just make sure to pay attention to these notes here about whether this conflicts with other nodes. But it's great. It makes it really, really easy to access custom nodes in your company UI workflows. But let's do something else here. So what we want to do is we want to get the custom workflow from my reimagine and also the colorize and restore videos and get going with that. So what we want to do now that we have Comp UI Manager set up is we want to download the custom workflow. So we're going to head to the link that is provided in the video. We'll be doing the colorize and restore old images workflow. We'll click download. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go to our downloads folder and we'll see the Comfy UI workflows there. So what we can do is we can head back to our Comfy UI window and we can drag and drop it and it will open up the workflow for us. So you'll see that you'll have these error messages showing you that you have some custom nodes missing. So we can close that error message. So this is not going to run right now as is, but what we can do is we can go ahead and refresh the page. And now we can see the manager and we can click on install missing custom nodes. And we'll have these two nodes here and we'll go ahead and click install for each one. So install this one, let it complete down here. And now that that's done, we'll go ahead and install the second one. Let it complete. Okay. So those are both finished uh, installing. And what we need to do now is we need to restart CompUI. Um, I found that this button does not restart directly. So we're just going to go ahead and open up our terminal window, close it, close our CompUI window there. And then we're going to head back to our CompUI Windows Portable folder and click on the appropriate bat file. Now it's going to open up and Comfy UI Manager is going to install all the dependencies necessary for our custom nodes that we just installed. So we'll just let it run through that. And this can take quite a while. So just wait till Comfy UI opens up automatically for you. Okay, and it's finished installing, and it's opened up the workflow for us here. And we should now have everything we need installed to get this workflow running. So we're going to go ahead and click Q prompt. Oh, first, what we need to do is select our image. All right, so if you don't already have an image selected, you'll go ahead and click choose file to upload and then select the image you want. And we'll click Q prompt and watch it do its thing. And so the reason this is going to take a little bit longer on the first run is that it has to install the preprocesses that have not been used yet. Once you have used these preprocesses once, however, they will be on your system and it won't take us long on the next run. And there we go. It's all done. And we have a working installation of Comfy UI, including our checkpoint, custom BAE, custom nodes, uh, and everything we need to get this custom workflow working. So I just want to show you before we wrap up uh, where you can find custom models and custom workflows. So the first place we'll head is Civit AI. And this is a great place to find custom checkpoints and all sorts of other things. The more you get into it, you can find all sorts of really useful things that the community has contributed. For example, this Juggernaut XL is a great SDXL fine-tuned model that can do a lot of things. But yeah, just kind of browse around this website and you might find some interesting things you experiment with. And if you're looking for more workflows, you can head to comfyworkflows.com. And there are a lot of really interesting workflows uh, that people have shared here. The ones that I share on my videos, I always post here. So yeah, go ahead and just check it out. And if you make something cool, share it with the community. So thank you so much. Uh, I hope you enjoy and make some awesome stuff. Talk to you soon.